Hello everyone, Tittle Thomas Man here, and welcome back to Minecraft Survival. Over the last two months, we have spent over 400 Minecraft days building this awesome survival world. And today, I want to take the next big jump and beat the Ender Dragon. Get an Elytra and enter Endgame Minecraft. But first, I need to show you, uh, villagers. Oh, and yeah, new skin. And, um, this is what 52 villagers looks like. And if we come back here, you can see that they're all in minecarts, so they can't go anywhere. And I can come back here and collect the XP with ease. The only negative to this is it does eat up my iron supply, but that's why we have an iron farm, right? I'm also gonna need to get some emeralds for more food, because I don't think 27 baked potatoes is gonna cut this journey. I might also take a few of these golden apples. Also sounds like a good idea. Now, do we go for the 24 golden carrots? Or for more pumpkin pie than we could ever need? I think we go with carrots. Now, this does look like as good a spot as any to throw our first eye of ender to see what direction we need to go in. So let's toss it up into... Oh, I didn't toss it up into the air. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, it, it's going this way. Okay. And did it break? Um, no, it's up there. I also have a bunch of blocks. Yes, I've been trading with my masons. And uh, I think we could probably use the blocks. And then we also have ender pearls and blaze rods to make some more eyes of ender if we just have really bad luck with some of these breaking. And planes biome. Uh, this looks like a good a spot as any to throw our next eye of ender. And it broke, but we need to go this way now. And it's time for boat. And boat didn't really do any good at all. I believe we are definitely in range of stronghold territory according to the wiki. So as soon as we get up here, I think we'll throw another Eye of Ender, just to be on the safe side to make sure we're not going too far out. And there's the Eye of Ender, we continue going this direction. And don't worry, I do have another portal so I can definitely get back to my home way easier. We are entering another forest though. Don't like the looks of that. One thing that I kind of like- ooh, village! One thing I kind of like about doing this is it gives me an opportunity to explore my world more. I'm hoping we come across a dark oak forest at some point in this exploration because that is the only wood type I do not have. I will gladly take the hay bales if the lag allows it, that is. I think I'm gonna leave the cauldrons this time. And that is the worst loot chest in the village I have ever seen. But we just came this way. We've got to be close. Oh, we are getting closer and closer. I can feel it. What I am looking for right now is a stronghold. And the stronghold holds <laughs> a special kind of portal. And this portal is used to go into the end and to beat the ender dragon. Now... Next eye of ender, this way. Well, one isn't going in the ground yet, but it told us to go up here. I think I'm gonna dig down. Oh! We did it! These stone bricks mean we, yeah, I spy. Let's get some torches down in here. Beautiful stuff, chat. Oh wait, I'm not live. Maybe I have, it's just, ah! Uh, you know, like, I'm getting so lost and so turned around in here. Oh, not another one of these rooms. Other side? No, no other side. Oh, here we are! and break the silver fish spawner and of course it's empty but that's okay we're going to do this oh yeah 
first things first, make sure we're all torched up in this area. Good, good, good. Second, patch lava. And I'm going to patch this lava as well, just for safety. Lag safety is what I mean. Oh, I almost jumped in. I'm not ready yet. Now I need my ender chest to put some of this random stuff that I want to keep in here. That will be nice to have. And last but not least, we need to make another portal. We'll just put it right here. light it, enter it, so we know what the coordinates are, and uh, so we can get back home once we leave here. Now let's put our bed down, as I am not 100% sure we aren't going to die fighting the dragon. I am a noob, so, um, yeah, we could very well die fighting the inner dragon. I made all the preparations. I am going to grab a stack of blocks just in case. We have extra arrows. We have just about everything I need. I think I'm going to leave some of this gear in here that I don't want to lose just in case. Things that I'm not going to need. Yeah, I think this will do. Maybe put my golden boots in here as well. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Not the greatest spawn. <laughs> Alright, there's the ender dragon boss bar. Let's just make this a bit safer. And I also got to do a couple more things before we actually start fighting this dragon. Number one, that's at one of these obsidian towers. I need to make a safe place just in case some endermen. I accidentally look at endermen. It's always a good idea to be over safe. Now, let's do this. Hey, I got one first try, people. And... Ellie oop. Oop. And dragon's breath. That wasn't Enderman. That was a dragon's breath. I'm going to switch out the potatoes for the golden carrots because they can heal a lot faster. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Oh, I missed. Dragon's breath. Keep missing, but it's okay. Just gonna put some water around. Let's get an infinite water source set up. Might be a good idea to do that. Let's try and get that one. I missed. Gonna start some replay mod footage just in case. Oh, I got one! I got one! I don't think I got that one. I really need to get a little bit higher. Oh, he's right over here. Okay, we're gonna try attacking it. The Ender Dragon is basically immune until we knock out these crystals. So, can I do the trick? I don't think I got it, no. Yes! I, it. I got it! I got one! The caged ones are honestly probably the easiest, I'd say. But what would I know? I'm horrible at this game. I'm gonna try pillaring up here. I'm gonna put some water down. Right here so I have safety if I fall. You never know what can happen with the Ender Dragon. She's very unpredictable. And, okay. I'm gonna fall into the water. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. Everything's great when you work as a team, but I don't have a team! I'm sad! Boom! Got it! Alright, how many more crystals are left? There's one there. Oh, uh, I know that one's still there. Is that Enderman? Oh, Enderman attacking me. Enderman attacking me. Let's put the water down. Endermen are immune, or, well, they hate water. So I can, um, just stay here until the one that wants to hurt me dies. Dragon's breath. Oh, the dragon's breath hurts. Oh, the Enderman also hurts. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, more dragon breath. Put on the helmet. Get away from this 
Dragon Breath to go away. Okay. Dragon Breath has gone away. Let's get the rest of the armor on. And let's get some stuff that we need back into the hot bar. Ah! <laughs> this is a good chat. Why did I just call you guys chat again? This is a video. Come on, TTM. Put yourself together. Oh, she's flying. She's flying away. All right, we're very close. How does she fly through obsidian? That makes no sense. Again, this is Minecraft. Minecraft never makes sense. Oh, she's perching! Perfect! Perfect! We're gonna get her! She just beat the Ender Dragon in Minecraft Survival. Gonna get some screenshots. Let that XP rain down! Yes! And there's the Dragon Egg! We didn't even bring the golden apples. I forgot about the golden apples. How could I forget about the golden apples? I also know that this is not the normal. This isn't really the normal format for these kinds of videos. But you know what? We fought the Ender Dragon today. I I also have to get this done quicker. So you know. So now I think we need to do some enchanting. Let's grab the lapis and this bow. Power four. That's it. Um, Reroll that, please. Beautiful. And that's all our levels gone, but you know what? Who cares? I'm also put the dragon egg in this deep slate in here along with these extra arrows. And now you're probably wondering, Total Thomas Man, we need elytra, we need shulker boxes, you need purper, you need... Well, we don't really need purper. But I'm gonna go do that now in montage, but first... Let us build a nether wart farm as we build something in this little starter area every episode. I think a better nether wart field like we have the sweet berry and wheat would look really nice. So let's do that now. <laughs> And end of montage, and we have ourselves a fancy schmancy new nether wart field. So I don't think we'll ever be running out of nether wart anymore. It's really fun to see how much this spawn area is growing since we started this world. But now I think it is time to go do some in raiding. It's going to take quite a while and I don't want to talk that entire time so I think I'm going to just montage this and so I started bridging and found a small in city without an elytra to get the first shulker shells of the series. Then I started bridging again and more bridging and more bridging. You get the point. A lot of bridging. And I found several smaller end cities. Until finally I found a large end city with an end ship. So I looted the city, then started bridging across to get the elytra. I put it on and did the thing that every good Minecrafter does and fly down from the end ship with the elytra. The first flight in our Minecraft world. And this is basically all the loot we got except for the ender pearls and all of this stuff right here and we so we came away with 64 and 7 shulker shells which makes us 35 shulker boxes very nice three saddles and 16 iron ingots 21 gold ingots nine emeralds two coarse flowers a bunch of chorus fruit two potions of healing and a dragon hit but now I think we need to build something to put the dragon egg on and I promise it'll be short and I'm not gonna talk over it again I'm sorry but I, I, I gotta get this video finished if it'll go out on time okay so uh, 
Thank you for understanding. Let's go do that right now. And walking over here, I could be flying. Here is our new dragon pedestal. I don't know. The egg is going to go right here. We just have a very open air design. The roof on this is actually inspired by the pillager tower, ironically. So I have the dragon egg in here. And we're going to place it down. Ah. Uh, Nice. And I'm gonna see if I can do it. Yes, look at this area. Ah, uh, I'm loving this so much. Just, it is going to grow. Every single episode of this series, there is supposed to be a building there sometime. But if every single episode of this series, we continue to build something here, we're going to get a really nice town of some sorts. Now I want to talk briefly to extend the video without having to put in any more hours. <laughs> I tend to do this a lot. I want to talk briefly about uh, some plans I have for some builds and this kind of, that kind of thing in this series. So number one, I have never done anything with the end portal before. I want to do something really, really cool. So what I have in mind is gonna is gonna require us to mine out every single block in a 64 by 64 circle radius. I'll figure that out with a world edit somehow. And after we do that, we have to dig all of it out, except for the end portal and the nether portal that gets us down there. And then we're going to take some purple and magenta glass, and then we're going to make some foggy stuff and some kind of explosion of some sorts that might have happened with like this liquid kind of coming out of it using the glass. It's going to be awesome. And then all that's left is the end portal to enter into the end and the nether portal that links us up to the end portal. But that is all going to be something that will happen in the future. Before I can get started on that, I desperate, I'm desperately in need of a beacon. Which I tried to get three Weather Skulls before recording this last segment, but you know what? Luck was not on my side. I actually want to see how many Wither Skeletons I killed. 24. No Wither Skulls, so we should have better luck soon. I'll get to work on that off camera. Hopefully we can beat the Wither next episode. But that won't be our main focus, as I have another idea. So I've been looking at a lot of concept art recently, and I've seen this really cool build on like this mountain peak it's some castle of sorts that's gonna be next episode but I gotta actually design that then get the blocks to build it and that means I need to finish this video right now so uh, we're gonna fly up here yeah thank you all so much for watching we have wings I'm happy we can do so many more amazing projects now that we can fly and we are officially in in-game Minecraft even though we don't have netherite armor. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps push out the video to other people. Yes, I'm mixing up my outro today. I don't know why. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.